Rex the Enlightened Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. Last time we battled Junior Troopa, Kensi Koopa, and did some errands around Toad Town, but we really got relatively little accomplished besides getting this door to appear. So what do you say we go through it and enter our second Yoshi's Island themed world, Flower Fields. Chapter 6 Dark Days in Flower Fields. And I'm pretty sure the star spirit imprisoned here is Scholar. What ho? Now who might that be? Ho ho ho! Up here, son! They call me the Great Deku Tree in a Garfield comic! I am the oldest tree in this Garfield comic! The land is of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And Garfield. And you must be Mario! I heard a lot about you, son. You hate Mondays, too. Very noble. If that's true, then your arrival means a star spirit is here in our land that also hates Mondays. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I also hate Mondays. A creature named Huff and Puff, Huff and, Puff and his followers invaded our far, fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It's so hard to sleep and easier. The sun doesn't even bother to rise into the sky anymore. We're all going to die. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course. It must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh, you're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of Flower Fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find some magical beans or something that grows high. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she's off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to give her a visit. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. As I mentioned earlier, this area is actually based off of several areas in Yoshi's Island. As well as a handful of... Oh! That's going to haunt my dreams. Just walk away. Just walk away. Another power-up block! Oh, and by the way, that's an amazing daisy. Or something like that. They're enemies that first appeared in Yoshi's Island. Go figure! Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the god of this gate. I must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in food, so if you bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by, well, do you have anything? No, I don't have what you want yet. Oh, nothing tasty, eh? Well, that's unfortunate. I understand it's hard to meet the standards of such a cultured flower as me. I suppose you weren't up to it. Sadly, it also means you can't pass. You shall not pass. Blah, ba, ba, da. 
It's odd, I like flower fields, but it just doesn't stand out in my mind as much as other areas in the game. So much so that I often forget it exists. Crazy Daisy! The Amazing Daisy is a gold Crazy Daisy that appears rarely and usually flees from battle immediately, but is very valuable. This is a Crazy Daisy. Crazy Daisies look cute, but won't... But you won't think they're so cute after they attack you. Max of points, eight. Attack power, four! They attack by singing a song. If you fall under the song's sleep spell, you'll fall asleep. If you get their hit points low enough, they'll try to run away. Beat them quick so they can't flee. Well, that was fast. Wow, the timing of that is tricky. But amazing daisies aren't and crazy daisies aren't so tough. No, amazing daisies are quite tough. In fact, I'm not going to go out of my way to fight one. If I find one and I have Goombario out, I'll tattle on it. If I don't, I'll probably just try and beat it. I'm not gonna go for both. Another stinky error. That was fair. Oh, the enemies here do so much damage. I need to reconfigure my badges too because D down is going to be useless in flower fields. This is a bazap. Bazaps are monstrous bees with adorable faces. Hit points three, attack power six. If they sting you, sometimes you'll be poisoned. They also occasionally call a swarm of small bees to attack you in a cloud. Be careful of those little buggers, because you'll sometimes shrink when stung. They don't have a lot of hit points, so take care of them as quick as you can. Oh boy. Oh, they can't hurt me because of the defense plus! That's hilarious! And very unfortunately for you, Mr. Bazap. Those enemies don't even have, barely have, have one hit point more than standard Goombas. Level up! Yay! Just glanced over at the screen to make sure I was recording. I think we're going to do badge points. I think we have enough hit points for now. Really quickly, badges, all badges. D down jump, don't need it. The other deep focus would be nice. Oh, huh, I think I have a good plan. Hit points drain. And power jump. Okay, while I was in that battle, I tested the new power of the HP drain badge. And believe it or not, it doesn't work as advertised, and instead it works as you would think it would work. Come on, crazy. Get out of my life. I don't need you or your craziness. Mortal Kombat! Hang on, I can do better. Battle combat! Do you have a second to listen to my sad tale? Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all! Without the sun, it just seems like a whole world is sad! Now these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. 
Woe is me, for I have not the might to smite them! My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of those Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are... This guy. And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. This guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. Finish them! Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, the uh, HP Drain Badge deals one less point of damage, but it heals you every time you, you, uh, you attack. And it looks like it heals two HP, not one. This is a Monty Mole. You remember Monty Moles from Mount Rugged, don't you? Maxi point 12, attack power 3. They're vicious rock throwers. They may look intimidating, but they're not very strong. They certainly have a lot more hit points than they used to, though. And... Yay! The trifecta! And... Got him. No problem at all! Okay, now if Goombario can hit twice... Yep. Goodbye, second Monty Mole. Oh, I didn't dodge you that time. That's unfortunate for you. Goodbye. Finish him! Well, I guess I can skip through the next few. Come on. Come on! Four KO! Quad kill! So I guess the double jump doesn't work. Okay, really quick before we finish this off. I'm gonna check this guy out and see if I'm right about this. Moles. Well, thank you. Thank you! To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. Heart. <coughs> the bean is twitching as if to say, Plant me this instant! Hmm? 
Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. <laughs> nice to meet you. Heart. By the way, about that magical bean I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom and blindness and deafness. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No! Okay. Yay, Redberry! Redberry! Okay, that's one down. We have the bean, but we need fertile soil and miracle water first. Nightmare. There's the blue flower. So there's a blue flower and a yellow flower. Well, it'd be convenient if there was a red one too, don't you think? Flower blowing bubbles, that's silly. Except that you can see some you can see crazy daisies doing that in Yoshi's Island. Oh crud. I goofed up. I completely and totally neglected what I saw here earlier, because I just got too into my character voice for Petunia. There is a hidden panel in this area that I found while whacking the Monty Moles. So... So we've already rolled over. But we've done a lot of skipping thanks to the Monty Moles and the new enemies. Flower Fields, even though it's technically a map location the way it's designed, feels almost more like a large outdoor dungeon. And if you think of it that way, you're less likely to get lost once we get deeper into it. One of one, one of one, one of one. Okay. Nope. We can't do that yet. I'm sorry I'm wandering around a bit. I actually planned on looking up a map for this area before I started today, but then I didn't, because I thought it'd be better if I just did it. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. A red berry! Munch chomp smack. Oh, delicious! This is it! Great color, full flavor! It's perfect! You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through. Hooray! Oh god! New enemy! And I'm going to avoid tattling this turn so I can finish off the bazap. And here we go. I was adjusting myself in, the ch in my chair so I didn't... Uh... This is a rough puff. Rookpuffs are nasty little cloud henchmen of Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Maxi points, 10. Attack power, 4. Rookpuffs float in the air, so a jump attack or something similar may be best. Of course, I'd be more than happy to give him a head bonk. It's your call, Mario.
We're gonna go on ahead and use a power stomp. Just to shorten this battle by a little bit. Because now if I can hit the action command with Goombario, it should do enough damage to finish this guy off. Mysterious. It's almost like there's a pattern here. A pattern of three that I've seen in almost every other Nintendo game. Look at this crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in other world? Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Ooh, what's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose! Oh, how rude. Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it. <laughs> Your nose is pretty nice, too. The stand to be a little longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? Yay, fertile soil. Your nose will be perfect soon. <laughs> So all that's left is the miracle water. Okay, I did not hit you. There we go. Come on. I know you're... He's not there. Ray! So obviously the next place we would go is down the yellow path. And there is enough time for that with all my skipping. I just gotta remember where it is. I think it's southeast. Yep. Good day, Mario. It's good to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. Do you have anything yellow that tastes good? Munch, munch, chomp, chomp. Bravo! Magnifico! A sweet, subtle flavor with a delicate finish. And such marvelous coloring. It reminds me of the warm sunlight I so yearn for. I'm truly taken aback by your cultured taste. Of course you may go. What? You're saying I'm not cultured? I just like one thing? How dare you! Okay. That was dumb. I admit that was a dumb on my part. Come on, para carry. Come on, para carry. Awesome. So I'm going to make it our goal for this episode to get to the other end of this. There we go! Here we go again. Alright. 
Can we get through the next daisy without fighting it? Yes, but not the one after that. Whoa! There. That's right, run away. All of you run away. Am I actually gonna die to these stupid things? Come on, Mario, just hang in there. 10, 11, 12. Oh! That was fortunate! That actually couldn't have activated at much of a better time. Now, if only I could have leveled up right there. Leave me right now, dumb butt. With this, we can upgrade a party member. Which, who gets upgraded, though? Well, oddly enough, really most party members are good for the boss in this area. So that means we get to choose. And when I choose, I choose Goombario. Want to upgrade this? Yes! And now Goombario is Ultra Rank. Which means he has Multi Bonk. Why are there so many of these things? Well, at least there's only one. Well, guys, we've been going at it for a long time on my end. So I'm going to go on ahead and sign off right here as I head back to the great Deku tree from the Garfield comics. I've been Ninjo X, the Enlightened Gamer. As always, until the next time, please remember to stay enlightened. Thank you so very much for watching this video. If you're at all interested in watching videos from my other series for this season, please click one of the videos that should be appearing shortly. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope, as always, you'll stay enlightened.